Good afternoon there folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season where I take you all the way from winter through to the next fall here in my small operation in southeast Louisiana. And remember this is not a how-to video. It's just me logging and documenting my days through an entire season. But if you happen to pick up any tips and tricks that's wonderful. And if you have any tips and tricks for me leave them in the comment section. I want to check that abandoned hive and see if I can possibly split that one, but I had a gigantic swarm way up 30 foot in a, in a tree in my front yard. I think that was that hive because there's not as many bees there. And that's fine. I, I, I didn't pay attention to that hive that much. I just kind of wanted it to straighten itself out. But I'll look in it and see if I can possibly split it. And I might check on um, that little tiny swarm, see what they're doing. All right, guys, so I'm going to go get my suit and get my gloves. I'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm next door. Got the trusty list. Says that we're to look inside this one. Just get an idea of its growth. Because I'm thinking this is going to be an early super. Thinking we're going to super this one for the privet flow. Hopefully we get a good privet flow this year. But we'll see. frame out of here and they're not drawing anything on it so now nah, we're we're good on this one they're growing good oh, it's heavy putting something up top See here's what happens when you got even though we're a narrow nest two three four five six really six full frames and six on the top you see what we got going in and those bees are working those cells and yeah, not one of them's got an egg in it so what I might do with this since I'm already missing some anyway I'm gonna put some drawing comb in here I'm gonna go get a few frames of drawn comb and when I'm done and I'm gonna give them some more space. Because this is heavy, so they're they're filling it. I'm gonna put some drawn comb in the middle. Give them a, a little more space. They're not using this down here either. The way they could be. But there's no flow and I'm not feeding, so if I'm not feeding right now and there's no flow, they're not drawing comb. But other hives are, so that that's the kind of stuff that can confuse you working bees is you got one that's doing it and the other ones aren't and I'm not gonna feed you here and there and they're filled up so yeah we're gonna put some comb in here and take a look at our tiny nuke which was our tiny swarm before and I gave them some brood so if anything it's gonna boost their numbers I'm not touching that one comb I this is just a yeah, I, who knows if she's even mated. I'm gonna find out in a second. What they got going on here. So they had uh they had some brood. And it's emerged, some of it's emerged. Nope, there's eggs. Okay, so she is actually laying eggs. So there's an egg here and an egg there. Here's the hive that was the abandoned hive, we called it. I'm going to take a look at this thing. I think it might have swarmed. There was a Hugundo swarm in my yard. 
and I thought, well, I'm gonna split this hive. Well, then I saw a big swarm, and now there's made bees on it now. But that's okay. I really was planning on letting it go anyway at one point. But we want to see where our bees are. If we got good numbers, we're gonna split them anyway. It's all stuck together. Yeah, that's that mess. Ugh. We gotta get this was one I never took apart. Ugh. See? Alright, so he's got spacers in this one. And you don't really have to pull a frame and leave it when you got the spacers, but I do. Yeah, see the second deep has got nothing in it. She wasn't going to come out of this deep. Now she's putting honey, they putting honey in this one. Oh, there's brood. Tell you this, I got a stinger in my hand. There's some cups, they're old cups. Got a funny smell to it. Loaded with eggs. No soup has got eggs. So if they swarm, let's see if they swarm. No, we had a queen three days ago. She wouldn't have. May not have been a swarm at all. in the bottom. He's working in the, in the supers. Drawing it out. Medium's on. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Shake these down, put a queen scooter on, put the medium up there. And well, I'll force the queen in the bottom. 
and we'll try and get this beer back established. Let's get them. So I'm going to be back in a minute. I'm going to turn this off and be right back. No, guys, we may not split this after all. I'm looking at it, and there's just not a lot of bees. So what I'm going to do is shake them all down the two deeps, and I'm going to exclude off of these supers. And that way, uh, that way I can go ahead and get them down in there, kind of get this thing shifted out. Because it's, it's just not got the bees in it. That's a shaking super and a deep. There's nothing there. They may have swarmed. Yeah, I think they swarmed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shake everything into there, put an excluder on it. Done deal. Be nice to split, but there's not enough bees. Oh, let's get some junk out of our way here. Basically, I should have done this from the beginning, but you know, I really didn't want to deal with it. Uh, back in that, that, that day I was doing it, I just didn't want to, but I'm going to deal with it today. I want to purge this equipment. I don't like boxes without handles. I'm going to purge all these frames. Like that kind of stuff right there, I don't need all that. She's got brood going in here. And there's eggs in here. And some old cells. She's in these mediums, I just missed her. That's all. I just missed her. There's all kind of fresh brood in here and eggs. Would have been an easy split if we had a lot of bees. Not a bad queen. Or wasn't a bad one. Try and put it back in order. I don't like them plastic frames, man, they twist. Hey there folks, all wrapped up, 
Uh, the only one thing that kind of, I just dealt with that hive that was the abandoned hive. And as I said earlier, I thought I'd go ahead and split that, but only if it hadn't swarmed, because it's been a while, it was full. That was a, it was basically a wild hive in a domestic box, <laughs> if you want to say that. And uh, it was, uh, it was probably ready to swarm three weeks ago. But I didn't fool with it. I kind of straightened it out. Thought maybe we could get them down in the bottoms. They didn't go in the bottoms at all, which I kind of figured that. And I should have shook them from day one. But honestly, I didn't feel like it then. And you know, frankly, I didn't feel like going through them today. That hives like that to me aren't enjoyable. I know it's got to be dealt with. I'm not going to kill the bees, and I'm not going to just leave them to be done with them. I'm going to I'm going to get them all straightened out. But I don't like dealing with that stuff. And then I got all that comb and that extra equipment. I don't know how old some of that wax is you know i just so i gotta deal with all that which i'll pitch those frames that's probably what i'm gonna do is throw every one of his frames away and throw his boxes away because they're they got no handles so that's useless to me and i'm not gonna put handles on them because they're about rotten anyway and the ones that aren't rotten got gaps on the tops so i didn't really want to deal with that high but i did i did what i should have done weeks ago i took it and uh i didn't find the queen i went through all the brood frames and even went through some of the deep frames down there and I didn't see her but I saw eggs so there was something there three days ago so that swarm in that tree that gigantic one that must have come out of the woods or something or maybe a neighbor he had some hives could have been from one of his but uh didn't see any queen and saw eggs so three days ago I had a laying queen and two days ago or three days ago I saw the swarm so that that shouldn't be Am I wrong? That shouldn't be, right? I don't think so. But they did swarm because the numbers weren't that great. Unless the numbers weren't that great from back in the abandoned high video. I don't know. Maybe I have to go back and look. Maybe you guys remember. The ones of you that have watched that one. So anyway, it, it didn't need to be split. We're going to get it straightened out by forcing them down in the brood boxes now. What I call the brood boxes. Forcing them off of, their, off of the queen, off of the brood that she's on now. By shaking everything that was in those two supers down, putting the queen excluder on, putting those back on. Now the work, the, the nurse bees will all go right back up and take care of the brood. It's going to emerge and there won't be anybody in the back filler. And then what I want to do is get those off of there before we get any significant honey flow. And I want to weed his, eventually his brood frames out of there, but that'll be down the road. But what I'll do is I'll get those mediums off of there. I'll throw all that away. Feed the feed what I can to the bees. You know, just scrape it off into something. And then uh, put my supers on there with fresh, uh, nice fresh frames. That's the plan with that hive. Everything else looked fine. With all that, I guess that's really all I have to follow up on that video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the series, those of you that are following us. And if you aren't following, uh, maybe you can go back and kind of catch up with where we're at. And I hope you do start following. Um, I appreciate everybody that's watching. I surely do. I appreciate everybody that subscribed. I, I, uh, I appreciate the comments. Um, and uh, it's, just, it's, it's just me having fun right now. So anyway, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. And hey... If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And share the video. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with those that just like to watch bees. And I'm going to go ahead and call this a day. I appreciate it once again. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I do bees. Y'all have a great evening. And God bless y'all.